Okay, today on the show, we have Haley Ingram from Coffee and Contracts. Let me tell you about Haley. I'm really excited, by the way, about this. Um, we specifically reached out to Haley. Normally, people reach out to us to be on the show, but we reached out to, to Coffee and Contracts because I am a, a subscriber and a huge, huge fan. And But let me tell you about Haley. Haley Ingram is the marketing guru behind Coffee and Contracts, a real estate marketing toolkit and online community. When Coffee and Contracts launched in September of 2019, Haley was a recent college grad for, uh, growing a real estate business in St. Pete, uh, St. Petersburg, Florida. She quickly found her best leads were coming from Instagram and a light bulb went off. Social media marketing paid off much better than cold calling. She began attracting the attention of other agents looking for advice with social media marketing. At the same time, she realized she had a talent and a passion for graphic design and decided to put her marketing savvy with her design talent uh, sorry, to pair her marketing savvy with her design talent. Today, Coffee and Contracts has helped thousands of agents to grow online through the power of social media so that they can unlock more time to focus on their true passion, helping people find homes. Please visit coffeecontracts.com. Again, that's coffeecontracts.com. And I believe uh, if you do subscribe, and you should, because I'm a subscriber and I don't ever recommend any services other than a few, <laughs> and Coffee Contracts is one one of them. And I believe we have a, even a, um, a special uh, coupon code for our listeners, but uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. But first, Haley, welcome to our show. Thank you so much for having me. I, Haley and I were um, talking all about Florida because she actually lives really close to where my sister is and where my parents are now staying in the winter. So we were uh, wasting time talking about all the fun <laughs> things around that part of the, uh, the, of that part of Florida that she lives. Um, but before we get started, Sorry, before we get into coffee and contracts, I'd love to hear the origin. See, I just assumed that you were just a marketing person, had no real estate under, uh, experience and saw, hey, I, I can create great content for, for realtors uh, for their social media, but you actually started in real estate. So can you talk a little bit about the transition from, from college to real estate to coffee and contracts? Yeah, for sure. Um, so I started real estate a little bit in college. I actually got my license while I was still a senior in college. Um, and I started doing marketing for a small brokerage in Orlando at the time. Um, and I wasn't really sure about real estate. I didn't really know what all it entailed to be a realtor because I was kind of like on a team and um, working with them in that way. And when I moved to St. Pete after graduation, I was like, I'm just going to do this thing full force and jump into a career in real estate. And, um, and it was a lot more than I expected, but um, <laughs> it was a, a bit of a rude awakening, but I just, I really loved the marketing side of it. And I could spend hours in Canva and Instagram, just building my business, just primi primarily on Instagram is where I was focused. Um, so I started kind of generating leads from Instagram and started having agents reach out to me asking for help with theirs. So I kind of transitioned into that and found that I just love that so much more too. Um, so yeah, so basically I started an Etsy shop where I was selling templates for real estate agents and doing social media for some local real estate agents. And then eventually decided to put it into a subscription model and update it monthly. Um, so that was in September of 2019 uh, when we went live with the website. And then by November, I was doing that full time. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. We, you know, and I realized we haven't really told our audience what coffee and contracts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let's, let's talk about, tell us about the company. Yeah. So basically when you join coffee and contracts, you get access to hundreds of Canva templates, um, and it's all in an online toolkit. And you also get access to a Facebook community. Um, so we update the content each month uh, with a full content calendar, Instagram stories. We have, we work with uh, the broke agent, if you're familiar with him on Instagram. Um, he creates meme templates for us. Uh, so we have that with like captions, video scripts. It's literally like jam packed with a ton of content. Um, that has been poured in there over since 2019. So we haven't really removed anything. Um, so you can still access things from past months as well. So yeah, it's just kind of like a, a vault of all the marketing templates and tools that you need. 
And it's really, really easy to use and customize. When, what I like about uh, what Haley and Coffee and Contracts are doing is they're really introducing a lot of humor into social media marketing for real estate. And this is something that has been notoriously missing from the vast majority of realtors marketing efforts. It's a very serious thing. Sometimes it might be a little silly, but it's usually like the realtors doing something silly as opposed to thinking about content that might be fun, funny, um, you know, engaging. And, and this is the most important part is we know that funny is usually the most engaging, engaged content on social media. So Haley's really built this entire uh, company providing this to agents so that they can literally just almost drag and drop content right into their social media accounts and post things. And if you don't want to be funny, there's serious ones, there's informational ones, you know, but there's also the humor side of it, which is, I think the, the, the coolest part about what you, what they provide. And it's really legitimately funny, cool stuff. <laughs> um, it really is. And, and this, we, we became a subscriber, um, of the company I work at, we're, we're a subscriber and we, we use this a lot because nobody else in the Chicagoland area is not nobody, but almost nobody. And there's 40 some thousand realtors here. I, I don't see a lot of funny content from realtors. Mm -hmm. And so I love that. So can we talk a little bit about, uh, the sort of the role of humor and, and why you sort of decided to make that part of the focus? Yeah. So I, um, I think it's important to remember why people are looking on social media on the first place. Um, it's basically to be entertained, either entertained or get value in some way, like sure. be informed or inspired. Um, I know that when I look at social media, I'm just, I, save or like or send funny things and that's what engagement is is people liking commenting saving um so you kind of just have to put yourself in your audience shoes and be like what what is going to stand out and also think of it as what would stand out to you like in thinking of someone in another industry similar to real estate who would you reach out to based on their social media you kind of have to like step out of it and look at your profile as if you are like you know what I mean? Like looking at it from a different pair of, pair of shoes. Um, but yeah, so that's what I, I feel like humor is so important just because um, because social media is to be social and to be yourself. Yeah, it, it's so absolutely right. And, um, and, and it's also something that's kind of lacking in the industry. And so you're, you're really filling a need. And we, we did this. So uh, we have a like a recruiting website for our company. And uh, we're, we're in Chicago and we have, you know, lots and lots of agents. And the first time I built the website years ago, I made it pretty serious. And then I realized like a few years ago, we're not that serious as, as people who run the company, we're, we're sort of silly and funny and whatever. And so I said, hmm, do you think it would be like off putting to my brand, to our brand, to, to put some funny sort of parts into our website, uh, recruiting realtors? And, and I thought, well, no, I think it'd be okay, but at, nobody does that, or at least yeah. in Chicago, nobody does that. So we took a risk and we're like, you know what, this is who we are. And it really, really helped. And so our, it's not totally silly, but there's funny parts to our website. And I think as agents, you don't have to be uh, cracking jokes constantly on social media. But even if you just wanted to introduce a little humor, like we did with our website, we just introduced a little humor so people can get a laugh. And we put our, we put my dog on the, on the, you know, on our website and says she's the mascot and, you know, she bites. And yeah. Like oh. and, you no, know, <laughs> funny, funny things like that. And, and, and we gave ourselves completely silly titles because because we think that's fine. But anyway, we got a much, much better response because of course you're right. People do want to be entertained and they also want to know that you're human. And yeah. I think if, if they're only seeing, if you're a realtor and I'm not in any way criticizing anybody's social media presence online, if it's working for you, that's awesome. Um, but whenever I see only people posting just listed or just sold, I don't, I, I sort of just don't even notice it. It just kind of, I, I scroll right by it. I mean, mm -hmm. I guess I feel good for a moment for that person, like, Hey, good for them, but I don't look at it. I don't really care. I just kind of scroll by it. I want something that's going to capture my imagination or my, or make me laugh or make me think like you were saying informational. Mm -hmm. And I love that, that your content really does all of those things. And 
realtors are busy, right? Like they don't have time, most of them, to really create engaging, awesome content. You guys do that. And for a really low price per month, like it's incredibly affordable. And even if it just generates like one lead a year, which it'll probably do a lot more than that, it mm -hmm. more than pays for itself many, many times over. So I, I am just a huge, huge fan of your service. I think oh, it's thank you so right. much. Yeah. Uh, I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, we we try to also, I know like a lot of people will say, well, what if like another agent in the area is posting the same content as me kind of thing. But we try to A, provide so much content that you can yeah. really just choose uh, anything. So you could switch it up and go find a post from last year and redo it a little bit and use that. And basically it's also a really good place just to get inspiration and ideas um, and even like kind of repurpose it into something else. So like a good example would be just like reels, if Instagram reels is taking a caption that we have and turning that into a reel um, or something like that. But we also try to give real ideas. So um, just like literally, well, reels, the idea of reels slash TikToks, I know it's like kind of a little bit complicated, but basically the idea is that when there's like a trending uh, sound or something, you can just use the sound and do what that person did, but put your own spin on it. Um, so we kind of, we give ideas for that about like turning something into real estate related. Um, and it's just been, we've, we've been loving the real game. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, you, we're now, yeah, there's video, you have scripts, you have ideas. And again, mm -hmm. that's, I think that's such a great problem to solve for because again, we have almost 800 agents at, my, at our own company. And the number one question we get about social media is, I, I need some content ideas. Yeah. And so now we're like, we'll just go to coffee and contract. Like it's, it's it, what, what we did originally at our company is we thought, okay, we, we, we pat we bought a package of like 600 social media templates that were actually pretty pretty good and so we found a vendor that was selling these social media real estate templates for instagram and facebook and mm -hmm. and we, we we patched them into canva and then we let our agents use it but they're not particularly funny they're they're more serious they're more business focused they're, there's nothing wrong with them they're fine but um, but I, I think that what you what you guys offer is is really current. It's on trend, and you guys are staying abreast of kind of what's what's working in the social media world and providing that content. For I'll give you an example. So um, I reached out to Coffee and Contracts just as a subscriber earlier this month, saying, "Oh, hey, by the way, it's it's Pride Month out uh, in the LGBTQ plus community." I'm just curious, do you guys have any content this month for that? And they were like, oh, whoever responded was like, oh, we have tons of content. Here's where you can find it. And I was like, oh, thank goodness, because our team is struggling to figure out what we should be posting this month. And um, and, and we, we've been using it. So um, it, 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 when I say current, like really, really current stuff, and they're just constantly pumping out this content. And, and to answer the, the, I wanted to address the question you had earlier with somebody says, well, hey, what if someone else has a subscription to this and, and another realtor? I mean, I wouldn't worry too much about that, even if you are posting the same stuff, because I mean, what are the odds that your clients are also following another realtor on Facebook? Yeah. I mean, it's possible, I guess, but it's probably a pretty low probability. And also what are the odds that someone would even remember that, I mean, I guess if you guys released a post today and everyone started posting it same day, maybe, but I just don't think that's a, a real major concern. Like people are probably following you, your clients are following you and they're probably not following your competition. Yeah. I think that's something that, um, that we say a lot too, is like, it's nobody's looking for real estate related topics. Like nobody that's not a real estate agent is going to notice um, when they see like, oh, she talked about three tips for getting your offer accepted and now she's talking about it. Um, but yeah. And another thing is we offer multiple different like post options for each day. So there's usually like up to 10 different like graphics that you can use. And we also recommend dropping in your own photos. If you take your own like branding photos or have like photo shoots with your team, we definitely recommend dropping in photos of you because those always get more engagements too. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about engagements on, on Instagram in particular. Um, what do you find 
or rather you obviously have your pulse on kind of what the real estate community is doing because you created a company to solve for those issues but what were the what were the issues you saw uh or what that you do see in maybe what agents get wrong about posting an instagram um i think a lot there's a, a few things um one would be a lot of people think they can just set it up like an automatic post to go out and then just like leave it for the month and they just so they find a service that like posts for them three times a week uh and it just goes out and it's like a generic post that gets no engagements um that's like kind of goes back to thinking about how you scroll through social media like nobody wants to get sold to nobody nobody's coming here to get pitched they they want to be entertained or they want to learn about you and like feel mm -hmm. like they get to know you um so i think that's like one of one of the biggest mistakes and also not being authentic and showing up as yourself on social media um a lot of people and i used to do this when i first started copying contracts i was like hiding behind the brand and or hiding behind like the feed i wouldn't post pictures of myself or anything um but as soon as i started posting more about me and more about um like how coffee and contracts came to be and also just like showing up on reels and stories my engagements went crazy um so i think that those are like two common mistakes that i see but another one is also people overthinking it uh i yeah. hear a lot of agents say like okay i need to post every day i need to post stories i need to go live i need to do this and i need to be on every platform but just like, don't listen to everything you hear. I think it's just like, what feels right for that person. And like, like if you're not a funny person and you don't like humorous content yourself, then don't like post yeah. that kind of stuff. Just do whatever feels right for you, but um, also get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Um, that's what I would recommend. And I think those are great suggestions. Uh, one of the challenges that that even I have with uh, with our our social media accounts, and, and I'm sure a lot of realtors do too, is sort of trying to understand engagement. Uh, you know, I know it can be really disheartening to spend time creating a post or even customizing one of one of yours that is, you know, we think it looks great. We post it and we really don't get the response we want maybe there are no comments maybe there's you know not as many likes as, as we thought we would get um and by the way that happens it, it, sometimes even outside of our control because of course facebook and instagram and, and all the social platforms have their own algorithms to determine what content gets seen by who and it isn't always obvious uh who they're showing it to um but i'm, I'm curious about engagement like i know it can be really disheartening when somebody's starting out to see very few people seeming you know to uh, either like or, or comment um mm -hmm. but but how should someone think about that because it really is a marathon and not a sprint right like yeah. when i started this podcast we only had a few listeners for the first mm -hmm. i don't know handful of episodes and and it took you know years and years and, and now we have a much bigger audience but there was no real magic formula for us it was just keep doing good episodes and hopefully want people start showing up i'm curious mm -hmm. on on sort of what your advice is for realtors who aren't seeing a lot of engagement maybe what they could do to either adjust their own expectations or just understand the how social media works a little bit differently yeah um i think definitely i think you kind of uh mentioned this staying consistent it takes a long time to build up a following don't take the easy way out don't try to buy followers or do anything like that because your account could get taken down and there could be some bad effects of that um so just be patient and be consistent but when it comes to engagements what i like to do is go to your insights on Instagram and look for like the past month. Um, you can set it for the past 30 days and look at your top posts. So which posts did get the most engagement and then just try to do more posts like that and keep repeating each month. So see what your audience is reacting to and then just replicate that. Um, so and like being consistent is just the pretty much the number one thing because i when i started out i you know didn't have very many followers and now it's been growing and as it grows it actually starts growing faster i don't know if that's that's been true for me i don't know if it's true for you also but it seems like it kind of snowballs uh, i guess that's how it is in real estate too when you get more clients it kind of snowballs um but 
I, I do. I wanted to share the method that I've been using recently um, that it caused my account to grow or the coffee and contracts account to grow uh, 4,000 followers in like less than two months. Wow. Um, it was just like a, a little change that I made. But um, basically what I do is I have five different posts that I do, like five different kind of content pillars or categories of posts. This is for the coffee and contracts Instagram. Yeah. Um, so, and that's like one post is like a funny reel that I like, I take and I make like a real estate related reel. Um, and I have like a steal the reel series where, uh, it's just encouraging agents to steal the reel that I made and copy it and make it their own. Um, and then I have carousel posts, which is like the swipe posts, which get a lot of engagements. Uh, those are always value oriented. So just providing some sort of value, like ideas or, um, insights on marketing and Instagram. Um, so basically so those have, are, and when we say, when we say the carousel, what, just to make sure people know, those are multiple picture, uh, yeah. posts, so where so, people can, can swipe through. So you, you tend to make those more informational, uh, mm -hmm. I'm, it, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. So it's kind of like, here's the post topic on the first slide, they swipe and then it's like number one, number two, number three. Um, and then like a call to action at the end. So almost like uh, really like a deck or a slideshow, um, yeah, exactly. and, and, you know, that's a really, I want to pause just for a moment because that's something I really don't see a lot of realtors doing either. So, mm -hmm. you know, thinking about all realtors have, well, most realtors, I think that, that, uh, have been in the business long enough. Do you have some sort of what we used to call them war books a million years ago, um, but but some sort of presentation. And so this would be like a mini presentation on maybe one topic, and it's yeah. it's not a it's not a full twenty two slides, but it might be two or three with a couple of good uh, data, you know, bullet points. So I'm sorry, yeah. but that's a really smart idea. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so and those also when you use the different types of posts that Instagram provides, that's what the algorithm likes to see. So if you're doing like a mixture of reels, posts, carousels, which are the swipe deck mm -hmm. type posts, um, that it shows that you're using like their different features and their new features. So they like to see that. Um, but basically I designate one day a week to a different type of post. So like, I know that Monday I post a quote, Tuesday I post a tip, Wednesday I post a reel, Thursday I post a carousel with value, Friday, I do an agent feature. So uh, as soon as I started, I don't know if it's just me, like it sounds super simple, but I think it just took the guesswork out of it for me. Yeah. And also it just, it's just made me so much more consistent. And I'm like, it's Wednesday. So I'm like, oh, got to post a reel. Like if I haven't, and so a lot of people are like schedule, schedule your content advance. And I actually, I recommend that if you're using the copy contracts calendar, but for me, that doesn't really work. I, I kind of get my like ideas on the fly and I get excited and I want to post it. So yeah. if it doesn't work for you, just do find what works for you and do it. But I recommend trying that method because it's kept, kept me consistent. <laughs> Has there, are there, have you noticed any differences in time of day when you're posting? Um, or do you not pay that much attention to when you post? I used to not pay attention, but I have noticed a, like so much more engagement when I post in the morning. Um, and I don't, I don't know why, <laughs> yeah. but, um, I've just found that when I post in the morning, I get so much more, but I kind of have a feel now. And I used to not like, this has been after like years of posting on Instagram, like trying to post every day. Um, well, yeah, since 2019, but, um, I've now I feel like I know my audience and I know what they like and I know what I know when a post is going to get good engagement. And I, I know before I post something when it's not going to get good engagement. Um, so like I know that reels get amazing engagements as soon as I started posting reels, which I was scared to do before um, it. I that's when I the growth really started happening. Um, and then also like just value. But I know that if I just post like a generic, like here's something in the toolkit or like here's some, me selling or a testimonial, I know that that's not going to get engagements before I even post yeah. it. The, the other thing too, for, for agents that don't have a massive uh, following on, on Facebook or Instagram is I know, you know, and I'll, I'll admit to this, it's a little embarrassing. I don't know if you, well, you, you are probably big enough to know where, where you wouldn't do this, but for, for a lot of us, we're checking to see when we see 55 likes or a hundred likes on our, our image, or 
we might go be going through and seeing who are the people that liked uh, that image, right? And mm -hmm. and especially if we're a realtor, because we might want to see one, which one of our uh, clients or, or, or sphere of influence people are actually engaging with that because, you know, obviously some people are not going to write comments, but they'll just like. So I, I've always thought, you know, one of one of the ideas, I'm curious to get your thoughts on this, is if to increase engagement, aside from having better content, which your, your team provides, um, also engaging with other people's content. I know cool. if I'm looking and I'm not that into who's liking my post, but I still look. And I suspect if we were honest, we most of us probably look as well, at least for our personal posts. And yeah, I um, look. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, okay, good. So I don't feel so, so, so much like a loser. Uh, no, I, I, I look, right? I look, you look. see who's supporting you. And then you start, even yeah. as someone that has, um, like, I mean, I don't have that many followers, but I, I notice the people that have been there I especially notice the people that have been there since the very beginning that are still here liking and supporting, but you also notice other business owners that are like, even in my like same industry and whatever, like that are supporting and that just, and, and agents of course too, that are members. And that just like leads to me following them and wanting to feature right. them and talk to them and like interact with them. So yeah, I think definitely in engaging with, um, with other people, Specifically, one thing that I used to do when I was a real estate agent getting started and I got a few clients from was going to uh, local pages like the St. Pete Instagram, like the city has an Instagram and then like restaurants, Instagrams, go to their followers or who's interacting with their posts and interact with those people. So uh -huh. I got a lot of people that were moving to St. Pete by following uh -huh. who was following St. Pete because they were because when I moved to St. Pete, I followed their Instagram. Yeah. So I followed those people and they were like, oh, look, a real estate agent. And I actually like met people um, through that. So that was really cool. I had people reach out and they're like, I don't even know why I'm following you, but um, I'm going to buy a house. <laughs> Well, you know, that's that's what you just said was really profound. I want to I want to dissect that for a moment because you just said something really big. Um, and so so here's what Haley was just saying. She was saying, OK, yes, you're going to notice who your who your followers are, who's engaging with your posts. And yes, you should also engage with their stuff as much as you can, just as a reciprocal sort of nature. But she also said she started thinking she started looking for other accounts, in this case, St. Petersburg's, you know, Instagram account, because she was moving there. And she started to notice who was engaging with their content and said, well, if they're engaging with that content, maybe they would be interested in my content, or maybe I should be, you know, sort of checking in with them and seeing what they're up to, right? Mm -hmm. Because these are active people on social media. So maybe maybe they'll be liking or commenting or it just, boy, that's such a smart thing to do because you're finding people that are already active following other people's stuff on social yeah. media. That is actually a really, really smart uh, strategy that I don't think we've really ever talked about before because oh, cool. we've talked about we've talked about things like hey if you're a realtor you know you know real estate's hyper local going around to different businesses and saying hey can I feature your business on my Instagram page which is an awesome idea everybody should do it we should also be maybe looking at their followers too right or or just anything that's supportive like for example I know that if I was featuring a local business on, like if I was a realtor and on my Instagram page, hey, here's a local business I support. Uh, I would wanna know which of their um, uh, followers are, are active on their page. And I would might even send them a link saying, hey, by the way, I just featured, it seems like you're a fan of this restaurant or whatever. I just wanna let you know I featured them. Um, so if you wanna spread the word, you know, you can do that. And, and that would be about you promoting someone else, not yourself, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and, but, but anyway, that's that's a really I'm sorry I didn't mean to get us off track but that is such a great great brilliant idea um so thank you uh for that oh, and yeah. Uh, yeah I also just wanted to ask about I wanted to talk about stories um mm -hmm. basically doing video um how important is video uh versus you know some of the static image posting like how how do you see and I know you sort of do everything but what's your take on video do because there's a lot of realtors who aren't as comfortable in front of the camera yeah. um what, what what are your thoughts on on the role of video and social media um I think that for stories I to be honest I don't see too much of a difference between doing a video and doing a like just a, a static post yeah. um I think my only the only the bit I mean it's basically the content that's there 
So for video, I think it's when someone posts a video of them talking for like 10 minutes, I, I like never listen You're to gone. the whole spiel. Yeah. yeah. So if it's like something relatable or funny that just happened on a showing or something, I would pop on video maybe and do like a quick one slide where you get it in. But, and also I think videos are important for when you're like showing a house, but don't overdo it and show like the entire house and make right. it boring. Remember that our attention spans are so short now, <laughs> yeah. but I think the most important thing is including a call to action. So like, especially this was another thing that got me success when I was a real estate agent was when I would go to listings, I would even just preview listings because I was a new agent and I didn't have that many clients. Um, I would do a quick video of the listing and be like, Ooh, in this neighborhood and then put a question box and be like questions. And I got so many people like, what's the address? And it's like, Oh, Hey, now we're talking. Interesting. So what's the address? What's the price? Be sure to like, I don't know. Sorry. Make sure abide by your local regulations. But sure. if, um, if you can like leave out a little information so that they can ask you, I love <laughs> I don't that. Know if I'm allowed to say that. Well, if it's not your listing, I suspect you could say, Hey, I just saw this really cool house and yeah. here's a little video of it. Like, and I don't know if it's for sale. I just drove by. <laughs> <laughs> the door was open. I, I walked broke in. in. <laughs> <laughs> um, if this is your yeah. house, I'll sell it. <laughs> you, you know what else you, I had this idea. I wanted to get your thoughts. Um, uh, this idea and this, this, so, so we we were trying to do more video. Um, again, this is recruiting realtor stuff, but agents could absolutely do this exact same thing. And, and I was curious to get your thoughts. So I, I was thinking about doing a daily, like little 15, 20 second, you know, video, maybe with a little tip of the day. And that was just getting difficult. We started doing it. And then a couple of weeks went in and we're like, okay, now we're out of tips. We don't know what to do. <laughs> and then it was like, it was just too difficult. And I thought, well, you know, what? maybe what I'll do is every day I'll get on and I'll say, here's my favorite real estate post of the day. Um, and then I'd find somebody's, you know, a post on Instagram. I'd ask their permission, of course, say, Hey, can I feature your post? You know, it's, it was really cute or funny or, or interesting. And I'll tag you of course, and I'll, and I'll source that you created this. It wasn't me. And every day I'll just be like, Hey, this is DJ. And here's this really cool thing I saw from so-and-so. Um, and I, you know, I was thinking of doing that and I was thinking that would probably help that other agent. Um, mm -hmm. assuming, you know, that they were interested in that and it would give me content. I would be appropriately sourcing them. So I'm not stealing their content, but mm -hmm. I'm highlighting it. And that would allow me to do daily video content, or I could take a post from coffee contracts and say, here's my favorite real estate post of the day and, mm -hmm. and do that. And that could be a 10 second video right there. So if you're looking for video content, it doesn't necessarily have to be you coming up with these brilliant ideas, but I'm curious, do you think something like that might be interesting? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think that's another thing is like, uh, user generated content. So, uh, yeah. that's how I get a ton of my content is from members and featuring members. Um, so I guess where that comes in for a real estate agent is you featuring, uh, local businesses and get creative. It doesn't have to just be like restaurants. It could be gyms, like it could be local, local influencers, local, um, you know, small business owners, anything like that. But yeah, that's a great idea. Cause then it's not about you. That's like another thing to start getting comfortable with video is just like, if you have a dog, <laughs> like utilize your dog and their cuteness. That's like, that's what I do sometimes. Um, but yeah, I, I think video is a good, a good tool, especially because it's so easy to just post a story. I think that's why stories are so great. You can do it so quickly. And, and for those who are worried about privacy or revealing uh, too much of their personal life that they're maybe not as comfortable with, with whatever boundaries they've set around their business and, and their home life. Um, if you are, you can still do video that protects that privacy and, and, and adheres to the boundaries that are appropriate for you because maybe you're featuring other people in the videos or other services or other businesses or other funny content. And as long as you're sourcing everything, you know, that's good. Never obviously don't steal someone else's uh, <laughs> Instagram content and repurpose it as your own. Although I don't know if there's laws around that or not. I suspect you probably know more about that, of course, but uh, you're, I'm sure your content gets lifted all the time. <laughs> um, 
And, uh, but it's, um, but it's one of those things that, you know, you can just ask people, um, yeah. you know, for, uh, for, for that. And I'm sure in most cases, they'd probably be thrilled as long as you link to them and, and, and tag them in the post. Um, but uh, it, real quickly, is there anything new on the horizon for coffee contracts? I mean, I'm such a big fan. I'm just curious. Do you, are you guys, um, are you guys thinking about expanding into other, uh, you, you know, other platforms? Are you guys like, well, maybe we'll, we'll start a TikTok thing or <laughs> which would be much more difficult, but um, have you started to think about how to, uh, how you might expand the business? Um, we're always trying to add, we're trying to keep up with Instagram and anything that they add yeah. and that's becoming popular. So of course, like reels were a new addition. Um, but we've definitely gotten questions about, um, what we do for lenders or title companies. Yeah. There, there are some, um, talks for things on the horizon regarding that, um, and kind of maybe bringing the two together. So um, well, I, I am a part owner in a title company and I will absolutely subscribe to that the moment you do it because there is nothing more boring than title stuff. I will tell yeah. you, nobody cares about it. Nobody wants to see it on Instagram. And if you can make that fun and engaging, I would pay a huge premium uh, to have that content because we don't even have an Instagram account for our title company because nobody cares. So um, I love the idea that you guys might be tackling that and lenders too. Lenders struggle uh, with, with coming up with fun and engaging and content. Um, it's just, yeah. you know, they're just kind of dry businesses and nothing yeah. wrong. They're great businesses. They're just a little tough. And so if you guys uh, end up tackling that, we will be the first, uh, we'll, we'll be a second subscriber to uh, <laughs> coffee and contracts on the, at least on the title side, we don't have a mortgage company yet, maybe one day, but, um, so I am super excited to hear that. So by the way, so if you are a lender, we have a lot of lenders that listen to our show. We have a lot of title companies that listen to our show. You know, you can still take the existing content they have repurpose it just slightly because it's all about real estate and actually use it as is so it's not like you have to wait for them to come out with a specific title pillar uh or, or, or you know it's a type of um service for title or or, or lending like yeah. you can take their their content is absolutely applicable now um so I, I love that. So thank you. But uh, I want to also tell everyone there is a, a coupon code for all of our listeners. If you do end up subscribing to Coffee Contracts, um, the coupon is keep it real, I believe. So yeah. go to coffeecontracts.com. Uh, try it out, guys. It's, it's a monthly membership. It is absolutely, there, there's no long-term commitment. You can cancel at any time, um, but keep it real gets them. I, I forgot. What is the coupon for? $15 off the first charge. I did not get $15 off my first charge. So I am, I am, I am taking one for the team and everyone else can get $15. No, I am so excited to, to uh, help this business grow because I am a huge fan and I need them to keep growing because I need them to keep putting out content because I need it for my business. So I am doing this for my own benefits. It's actually very selfish of me, uh, but I, I am just the biggest fan and I'm actually mad because I wish I would have come up with this idea. It's such a brilliant idea. There's nothing else like it out there. We don't promote anything on this show hardly except a couple of, uh, of services and coffee contracts is one of them. So please, everybody go to coffeecontracts.com, follow them on Instagram. Um, you can learn about their service, try it out, use the coupon code, keep it real $15 off your first month, which is insanely uh, uh, generous. And trust me, you will not be disappointed. And all you have to do is kind of copy and paste. It's so easy <laughs> and customize it. It's, it, you know, if you can use Canva, which everybody can use Canva, you absolutely We'll have such an easy time with us. We love it and so happy to have you on the show, Haley. And we Thank wish you, you so guys, much. yeah, we wish you the, the very, very best in this. I think you are on, not even that you're on to something, you're obviously on to something. You have thousands of clients, um, but I think this is going to just explode. And so, uh, you know, we'll probably want to have you on in the future as you guys continue to grow. Um, but for everyone right now, go to coffeecontracts.com. And uh, also we want to thank Haley for her time. She is busy, 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 busy running a company and creating amazing content for realtors. So we know how busy she is. And thanks for spending time with us on behalf of our audience. We say thank you. And on behalf of Haley and myself, we want to say thank you to the audience, the subscribers, uh, our followers, and please, we ask just one thing, please tell a friend, think of one other real estate agent that would like to do more in social media, send them a link to this episode. You can, if, 
if the person that you're going to send this to is not a podcast listener, just have them go to uh, keep it real, sorry, keeping it real pod.com that you can stream every one of our episodes we've ever done right from the browser. They don't even need a special app for that. If they are a podcast person, just have them pull up their podcast app, search for keeping it real and hit the subscribe button. Uh, that would help us continue to grow. So thanks everyone. Thank you, Haley. And we will see everybody on the next episode. Thanks, Haley. Thank you.